Hello everyone! Today we are going to make such famous game as Minesweeper using C++ and SFML. Today will be more quiet videos than the previous one and I will explain every part of our game. So, let's start! First of all, let's create random function in our header file, which we will require later. It will return us a random number between smallest and biggest value we give. Also, let's declare our loop function. In our main file, let's include all requirements we will need and our header file. Then, let's create four constants of our game map size and window size. Also, let's calculate the tile size on screen by taking smallest value of dividing our screen size to our map size. Now we will init a map variable, which is 2D integer array. Now we are ready to start writing logic of game. We will need to spawn mines in random position on the map. For this we will create a generate map function. In it we will go through the map and in each square random number from 0 to 5. And if random number is 1, we put number minus 1 to map, which is our mine. In any other situations we put 0 for now. Now let's look at the result. For this let's create loop function. So to make it work we should create our window. Then init sfml's event variable and write code to close up when you click on close button. Now everything is ready to draw our map. At the start of each frame we should clear our screen just by filling it by black color. Then let's create squares which is our tiles. Give them size, set fill color to white, set outline color and outline thickness. After these manipulations we can call draw method to draw our rectangles. If we start our program we will see just white screen. It is because we forgot to call display method. So now we can see black screen with one white square at the top left side of window. It is because we forgot to set position of object. So let's do it by multiplying it position and array to square size. And now we can see our game map, but without mines. It next what we should do. But firstly we should import our mine texture. And with it let's import other things we will need, like flag texture and font from prepared files. For this we declare variables at top of file and then in main function call load from file method. Now we are ready to draw mines. So for this in loop where we draw in squares we should uncheck if the square a mine. And if it is, we create sprite object, give it texture of mine, setting same position as for our rectangles and call draw method. If we start program we don't see mines, but why? It is because we forgot to scale our sprites to size we need. Now if we start program we can see mines on the screen. Next step is to calculate amount of bombs around each square. For this we will create function send map. In this function we will go through our map, getting every sector and counting bombs around. For this let's create variable ways in which we will write all changes to positions we should do to check tails around. Let's create new variable n, which will be our bombs counter. While going through ways we should check if we don't go out of map possible positions. And then after loop, we place amount of bombs to map. Now we should display our number on screen. So let's write this algorithm. First of all, we need create array of colors which will be used for numbers as in original game. Next part is very easy. We drawing our text in the middle of square using our imported font and setting it color from array by it value minus 1. We forgot to call our method in generate map function. So let's do it and start our game to see result. On screen we see number of amount of squares around each one. It is because we are adding counter value in each iteration without checking is it a bomb or not. So let's change it by adding simple check to our if statement. And now as you can see everything works fine. In game you shouldn't see map before you open it. So let's create array called map view in which we will save all open sectors and draw only them. Let's say that value 10 is a known sector. So in generate map function let's set each square this value. So now in drawing part of code we should replace map to map view. And not check that sector value is not 10 before drawing it. As you can see everything works like we want. So now we are ready to add our incredible gameplay. All our game is based on mouse clicks. So let's add event listener to them. After which click let's calculate in which sector it was made by dividing it position to square size. After that if we see that it's right click and click was made on one of our sectors, 
We need to place flag, but only if we don't open this sector by left click. And if there is already a flag, we should remove it. You can say that we don't have code to draw flags. And you will be right. Let's add it. It will be just the same as for mines, but we should replace word mine to flag. If we start program and try to make right click, we will see how well our flags logic works. Left click logic is very simple. We just setting value of map into map view in click position. And now our game controls is ready. But we still can't win or lose. So let's add game over and open all zeros around functions. The last one will open as you can see from name. All positions with zero bombs around when you click on one. It will get position of open zero sectors. We will go around by ways we have already described. And open new sectors. And if new sector is zeros. We call function again, but with new position. But if you start program, you will see that they don't work. And make some unexpected things. It was because I mistakenly give position in opposite order. And now it will work. We are opening clear places as in original game. Let's come back to our game over function. It will draw big text game over in the middle of screen. And wait until you press close button. We will call it if you open mine by left click. So as you can see, now you can lose in our game, but still can't win. So let's fix this. Let's change our game over function a bit. We will make the text which is going on screen will be given to function. And then we can make check win function. It will go through map and check if sectors are same in map and map view. Or in map it is bomb, but in map view is flag. And then call game over function and give it you want text. So now we can call our check win function each iteration. And look, our game is ready. Let's set map size to 30 to 16, which is hard level, and try to win.